Um, try to catch one of these things because they're actually pretty tough to catch. What's going on guys? Coach Matt and YouGoProBaseball.com. I'm here with my man again, Leo Rojas. Great Instagram page, at Leo BSBL. Go check him out over there. In this video, we're gonna talk about training small as a catcher. In fact, that's how we kind of got in touch. Yeah. I saw you posted a video with these mini gloves that I sell on my website, and you tagged me in it, and I was like, oh man, this guy is right over here in Vieira. By the way, we're at the USSA Space Coast Complex in Vieira, Florida, 15 beautiful turfed out field and i'm a scout for the u triple say all american games and this year we're back on the road 10 tryouts this year so check the link down below to see if we're coming to a town near you and if you try out you make the team you can come here in the summer july 18th to the 24th so you can participate in the all american games check that link down below so let's get into it what do you do with this mini glove and the mini wiffle ball pitching machine? How do, how do you make it all work? What do you like about it? And what do you do with it? I love these things. As soon as I saw them, you know, I, cause I, I originally saw them on Yugo Pro Baseball, and then I just went ahead and bought a couple uh, to try them out. They bought a couple more, you know, for my kids. But these are great tools. This is a great tool just to track the baseball, right? Because now we're talking about a tiny glove. Now we're talking about catching mini, mini wiffle balls that are gonna be moving everywhere. That's, really, that's a really tough thing to do. If you can catch this ball, if you actually get good at it and tracking the ball all the way down, which is what you should be doing when, you, when you're catching, that would be one thing you know, that with this glove, you're gonna be able to, if you're able to do it with this glove, you should definitely be able to do it with the big one, okay? So uh, we're actually gonna show it off. We got the, the wiffle ball machine. So I'm actually gonna show it off right now. Uh, try to catch one of these things. Actually, pretty tough to catch. Making it look easy. <laughs> it's not that easy, guys. This is the fastest speed. There's four different speeds 25, hey, <laughs> 35, 45, and 55 mile an hour. It throws different pitches and it's tough, but he's making it look easy. <laughs> so you, you definitely got to track the ball all the way. I'm keeping my eyes on the top one. Keeping my eyes on the ball 100% of the time until it hits the, the tiny glove. I'm tracking, time the ball, and then that's how you really work on that pitch up. You know, good thing about it, it throws the ball everywhere. You see, that one was all the way down, the other one's right down the middle, so you gotta track the ball all the way. See, that was a tough one. You can use different stances, you can use your regular stance as well, you know track the ball all the way. Throwing to the bases is a tough one, right? But you can actually try it as well. Catch the ball, make the transfer, track the ball, make the transfer. So that's a really tough one. You can also work on some blocking as well. Making it look easy. Let's go back a little more. Nice. So you can work on this stuff, man. This thing, this is great for younger kids because is definitely, it's not gonna hurt them, you know? So they, they can work on their form on, on blocking. And uh, that is just a great tool to have to get on that training aspect of catching, which is a tough position, right? So this right here, the tiny glove, the wiffle ball machine, every younger catcher should have it. You know, you could work on this at home, you know? And it's great, because especially in this time, a couple of great tools to have, you know, to get that work at home. Uh, it is, everybody, again, I sell it on my website. I'll leave the link down below, but it's a great tool. Everyone, I get so much great feedback from it. Like you said, it's safe, which is super important. You can do it inside. Doesn't matter if it's raining. Doesn't matter if there's COVID or anything like that. You can do it wh wherever. Outside, it's even more, difficult because now you got the wind mm, aspect yeah. to it and these are mini wiffle balls are flying all over the place and it's fun like you, oh, i yeah. get guys out here playing trying it all day long and they're working on their catching they're working on you can hit these balls they're built strong so you can hit them feel them catch them you know just just a great all-around tool leo and i actually shot a bunch of videos on some of the stuff he was talking about he talked about blocking off of this he talked about receiving working down to up he talked about the stances talked about a lot of stuff and we shot a ton of videos so i'll leave all those links down below 
where you can check those videos out because really good stuff. And be sure to do me a huge favor. When you're done watching this video, go over to Instagram at Leo BSBL and give him a follow. Check out all the stuff that he's posting over there because he's got some really, really good stuff, especially if you're a catcher or you want to work on hitting because you think that he made this look easy and catching, he makes catching look good. Wait till you see my man swing. I've seen it on Instagram. <laughs> he's got a nice little swing too and he shows some real good hitting stuff over there. So be sure to go follow him over there. Again, if you're interested in the USSA All-American Games, check that link down below to see if we're coming to a town near you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you got a question or comment, leave it in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next one.